look is probably one of the most all-time classic fall looks you're ever gonna see, and that's just because it works. It works on every person, every body type. I decided to just go with black, comfy, stretch, skinny jeans and my knee-high riding boots. Now, these are old fry leather boots that I have, and the cool thing is the older they get, the better they look, the more sort of personality they have. A big oversized blanket uh, scarf that's got all the tones that tie in with my jeans was really great, and I chose a gray scarf because I knew it was gonna go with any outfit I wanted to build. means that wearing yoga pants in public is perfectly acceptable and we love that it's a it's a good time guys it's a good time to be alive so the key with making athleisure look put together and not totally sloppy is just to have good quality pieces that aren't a mess so i chose to wear my sneakers which i don't wear to the gym i keep them nice and crisp and clean so they look really good when i'm sort of out and about the cardigan draped over this long oversized tee is great because it's kind of nice that the tee comes down almost like a tunic length and then i decided to wear the turban a headband instead of a hat to keep it a little bit lighter. reason I decided to feature this look is because I just want to remind everybody that when you've got those floral dresses that maybe you bought during the spring or summer, that you can wear them and transition them in a really cool way for fall. Just adding on all of the fall details like ankle boots and tights and sweaters and hats, it instantly transforms a piece that maybe you weren't going to be wearing anymore. If you have the hat, it's a little bit more of like a look. And if that feels like too much for you, take the hat off and just let your hair flow. It'll be a little bit more relaxed. Another detail that you could lose if you wanted is the belt. If you get rid of the belt, again, the look is a little bit more relaxed, and so you can always add on these little details the more sort of stylized you want to get. Thursday's look, I decided to harness my inner Blair Waldorf. Ah, oh, man, I miss that show. So because the look is really preppy, I decided to add a couple of details that felt a little more me. The statement purse that I DIY'd was really fun and a little cheeky. The shoe bows, while they're preppy, they're really fun and I love them so much that I thought that it added like a sweet little element to this. I decided to go with a statement necklace that had all this mess of chains to kind of play against how sort of sweet and youthful this look was. But it's a really easy look. If you're in cold weather, some tights and a coat and you're ready to go. It's Friday and you know what that means, date night. So I love this look and actually this is a look my husband would really love. It's not so high fashion that it's really intense. It's actually really simple, but all the pieces are form fitting and subtle, which is actually really sexy. This look, if you wanted, could easily be transitioned for a workplace. Instead of the cardigan, you could throw over a blazer because a simple slip top like this looks really nice with a suit. I decided to go with really fun, bold earrings because I just thought that that was kind of a little bit more special, good for date night, a little clutch, but otherwise it's a really relaxed, cool, sexy look that's really versatile. 